Stakeholders in the marine industry are calling for payment after rendering services for the oil spill response efforts. Fishermen and members of the diving industry held a joint press conference in Scarborough today where they stated that after suffering damages to vessels and equipments during the response effort six months ago, they have yet to receive payments. More in this report from Candice Jackson. But it's disheartening to me, the powers that be do not appreciate the efforts with our bare hands and our tools to mitigate the damage that could have been done, the further damage that could have been done to the island of Tobago. Director of Marine Safety and Security Services, Alvin Douglas, was the first diver to inspect the Gulf Stream wreck on February 7th in an attempt to identify the vessel that was leaking oil. He continued to dive the wreck almost every day for weeks as experts tried to get the situation under control. All my dive equipment went bad, all. I have 15 sets. Each set would cost upwards of $16,000. They're all gone. I cannot take uh, clients in the water with faulty equipment because the oil tends to uh, degrade the equipment. He was not the only one who suffered damage while assisting. Several fishermen lent their boats and their sailing abilities to ferry experts to and from the site and to lay oil booms. I was affected by the, um, the hydrocarbon was very very thick in the water very very and it um destroyed my engine so right now i'm out of an engine well the engine deal with heat water need water to cool down and when this oil get up into the engine and meet with that heat it makes it makes a gum when it makes that gum i start to block up all these water pots your engine can't cool down overheat i match up two engines since I'm working in this oil here. President of the All Tobago Fisher Folk Association, Curtis Douglas, explained that after six months, they had hoped to receive payment for the damages incurred while assisting. This white is you want to owe us the ministry and the workers of the Ministry of Energy who would have worked on the oil spill in the island of Tobago, in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, are being paid. The THA requested $153 million from central government to cover costs for the initial oil spill response. However, they were only allocated $50 million during the mid-year budget review. Out of that total, they approved $1.5 million to cover marine services. However, what I'm getting from THA is that the allocation hasn't come from, from um, central government. And until they get the money from central government, they will pay us. What marine stakeholders are seeking is separate and apart from the compensation for damages caused by the oil spill itself to the marine industry. In this case, they are claiming compensation as first responders involved in the effort to prevent further impact. Meanwhile, the IOPC has opened a portal on its website to allow anyone affected by the oil spill to submit claims. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.